NFL quarterback Joe Burrow might very well accomplish the impossible this year. And no, I'm not talking about potentially leading the Cincinnati Bengals to their second straight Super Bowl. Like some sort of HGTV renovation show, Joe arrived in Cincinnati ready to break down walls and rebuild past mistakes. Carrying the Bengals squad all the way to the championship game last season and setting them up to do the same once again this season. He did this by taking a franchise that had once been labeled as cheap, stingy, as well as poorly run and turned them into a potential perennial contender. But as impressive a feat as that is, the impossible I'm really referring to are reports we dug up from the depths of the internet that suggest this ultra-talented player might finally be ready to move out of his parents' place and scoop up a home of his own. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. For NFL athletes living in this area of Ohio, the real estate game is what you might call player-friendly. After all, the median list price for a home in the city of Cincinnati registers at an extremely modest $220,000, which means a rookie entering the NFL for the first time could easily afford to buy a place of their own. But ever since hearing his name called with the number one pick in 2020's NFL draft, Joe Burrow has spent the majority of these past three years living with his folks in a city known as the Plains in Athens County, Ohio. Joe did grow up in this town and the entire population has tracked his rise to superstardom. He first started playing football in the 10th grade and over the next few years, he'd throw an incredible 157 touchdown passes for over 11,000 yards which was good enough to earn him the title of Ohio's Mr. Football. On his way towards being named a Heisman Trophy winner, Joe would enroll at the Ohio State University, where he played for three years before transferring to Louisiana State University for just one season, in which he led that team to a national title. But even while standing at the podium accepting the Heisman Trophy, Joe was still thinking about those folks back in his hometown who supported him in his journey even when they themselves didn't have all that much to necessarily look forward to. Having now earned himself national attention like never before, his former community began honoring him with signs that were impossible to miss. And in many cases, I mean that literally. From the banner hanging over the Piggly Wiggly to the omelet named after him on the menu of Gigi's Country Kitchen, there's even an LED scroll listing off his accomplishments atop Duncan Tire and Service. What I'm trying to say is, if you step one foot inside of the plains, you'll know exactly who this town helped raise. They even put Joe's name on the Athens High School Stadium a couple of years ago and posted a quote of his about leadership and hard work in the school's weight room to motivate the next generation of student athletes. And when Joe heard his name called during the NFL draft, the entire city celebrated the occasion by driving past his family's home and honking their ever-loving horns like crazy. Let's face it, how many 20-somethings still living with their parents can claim accomplishments like that? No wonder the guy doesn't want to leave. But now, let's look a little closer at the home itself. Upon moving to Ohio in 2005, the Burrow family would buy themselves a very reasonably priced $240,000 residence. For those of you keeping track at home, that's actually $20,000 more than the average house in this part of the country. And today, this home is estimated to be worth north of $300,000. Located on the end of a cul-de-sac, Joe's family home is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath contemporary house with what's reported to be around 2,661 square feet of interior space. It also has just a big enough yard for Joe to throw the old football around with other members of his family. When he's not outside working on his skills, his parents have told media outlets that Joe likes to spend his free time playing video games with his former high school friends. He also enjoys spending a number of nights inside, partaking in his mom's delicious home cooking. 
As for what the interior of Joe Burrow's family home is like, most of what we know comes from the few glimpses he's shared on social media, like clips of himself sitting in his carpeted living room with his proud parents on either side of him during the NFL draft. Speaking of that living room, Joe's parents have also showed this part of the home off to local news outlets while proudly displaying the numerous framed images they have of their son and his siblings, as well as gushing about his many accomplishments. Even as recently as last January when Joe was in the middle of leading the Bengals to their first Super Bowl in three decades, his father was getting off jokes about his son being the only millionaire in the world still living in his parents' basement. But after coming up short at last year's big game, would Joe Burrow finally decide on a lifestyle change? The short answer, no. But here's the crazy thing. We did some digging, refusing to believe that Joe Burrow was still living with his folks after making it to the Super Bowl. And here's what we found. Shortly after being drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals, Burrow reportedly bought his own starter home in June of 2020. In fact, he scored a three bedroom, three bathroom, 2,900 square foot property in Columbia, Tusculum, Cincinnati's oldest neighborhood for a reported $835,000. First built in 2014, this two-story house is about five miles northeast of where Burrow plays at Paul Brown Stadium. As you can tell from one look at its exterior, the home looks sharp. But sadly, Burrow has never posted any images of its interior online. I'm not even sure Joe ever spends any time here whatsoever, because whenever he talks about his living situation, he always brings up living with his parents. This means it's entirely possible that this home was simply an investment that Joe made to earn some passive income. But here's the thing, whether it was here in this house or back in his parents' place, Joe Burrow's home life has played an integral part in bringing together this newest potential championship iteration of the Cincinnati Bengals. To begin with, Joe Burrow and his wide receiver, Jamar Chase, go back a long way. Not only were these two teammates at LSU, they just so happened to be best friends as well. During an episode of Hear That Podcast Growlin' on the Athletic Network, host Paul Daner Jr. revealed that Chase even bought a house on the very same street that Joe lives on. He accomplished this feat by going door to door and asking each homeowner if they'd be willing to sell until he found someone who was. And that's not all. New Cincinnati offensive tackle Lael Collins was also convinced to sign with the Bengals in free agency after spending a quiet night in at Joe's home, apparently eating crackers and cupcakes. During an interview with The Athletic, he told them, I feel like I was at my little brother's house when I walked in. Nobody was uptight. Everyone was just cool, just like the locker room. For me, that was special, man. It was authentic, it was real, and it was pure. For me, that was everything in the world. Will Joe Burrow ever decide to spread his wings and move into a place that he can call his own? At this point, I honestly have no idea, but if he still hasn't done it by now, I don't think he ever will. And really, what are the odds? Not unless he gets traded. And what are the odds of that happening considering what he's meant to not only the Cincinnati Bengals, but all of Ohio? Well, there you guys have it. A look into the home life of potential Super Bowl 2023 champ, Joe Burrow. Thanks for watching today's video. And before you leave, consider answering the following question. How much money would you need to make before feeling comfortable enough to move out of your family home? Let me know how quickly you'd flee the nest in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.